Hello, and my name is Seth Gray. I'm here today to show you how you too can have your own customized trading card games, uh, trading cards in Tabletop Simulator. Specifically, I'm going to be focusing on the World of Warcraft trading card game, and I'll explain how you too can have very nice looking cards like this. So there's a couple things you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need the card images. You're going to need the tool that's going to put it all together. You're going to need a website to upload images to. I suggest PhotoBucket or ImageGer. And you're going to need a couple other images, and I'll go all over that. So first thing first, we got to get the actual tool we're going to use. All the links to this will be in the description. But uh, this is a deck building tool by Andrew. I can't pronounce my la his last name. Uh, so you just go to the file section. And as soon as the content will load, we'll actually download it. Thank you, University Wi-Fi. There we go. So, just download it manually, ignore all this stuff. You'll have to make an account at uh, nexusmods.com, uh, but it's a good thing to do anyway. It doesn't take any time. They won't send you any intrusive emails. Just make it. It'll take you five minutes. You'll be done. All right. Once that's downloaded, it's a zip file, so you're going to have to unzip it. You'll need an unzipping software, like 7-Zip is my preferred uh, tool. Uh, you want to put that file wherever you want. doesn't matter as long as you know where it is. And you're going to want to run tsbd.jar. So once you've got that running, it'll look something like this. You've got this nice blank canvas. All right. So when you get this nice blank canvas, we're going to hit New Deck, and we're going to hit uh, Control-A or Add Cards right there to start adding cards. But wait, you say, I don't have any cards. Well, that's a good point. We'll have to go download some images of cards. Specifically, I like to go to uh, TC Browser and Deck Builder this website, it's got a huge index of cards. You can select them by the type, by the class, faction, all these great things. So if I say I want to look for an ability from the Heroes of Azeroth block, I only want um, abilities for priests. There we go. This is all the priest abilities from the Hero of Azeroth block. I can sort of by rarity, cost, anything. This is probably the best repository of uh, Warcraft cards you will ever find. Now. I want to note that when you download the cards, you want to click on them first, then hit Save Image As. And the reason for that is if you just try to save this image as, you're going to get a very tiny image. And that is worthless to you. Can you see that? Can you read the text there that says Blood Elf Hero Required? I certainly can't. So make sure that you get the nice big full image here. So when you download the image, um, you're going to want to put it in a folder. Uh, I have this one set up for one of the decks I was working on previously. Uh, I'm actually going to go through a full deck with you. Uh, I created a random basic mage deck, so we're gonna we're gonna go through that real quick. I'm just gonna go through the process of downloading all of these cards, and then once I've done that, uh, I will walk you through the actual process that you would use here. So one moment. A few moments later. Now something I forgot to note, but through the magic power of editing, I'm going to uh, pop that in real quick. We all know, for those of us who played the Warcraft trading card game, that hero cards have a front and a back, a very unique uh, front and back. So, and you need to download an image of both the front of that card and the back of that card. Uh, normally, uh, TCG Browser and Deck Builder gives you both the front and the back. For some reason, uh, it's not giving me the back here. Uh, if the back of your card doesn't matter, as in it's just a nice, very full portrait image, you can just use a regular card back not the end of the world and I'll explain that process in depth as we go on but it always looks good if you can get uh, both the front and back okay well we've downloaded all of our images here and now we're going to pull up the uh, the deck list builder here and we're going to hit control A to start adding some files let me just get to the proper folder here now I just added the first card by selecting the name Arc of Flame. That's the file we downloaded. See? Right there. Now, you notice there's only one Arc of Flame here, and the deck calls for four Arcs of Flame. So, I had to hit Control-A again, hit Arc of Flame again, hit Control-A again, hit Arc of Flame again, hit Control-A again, hit Arc of Flame again. You see where I'm going with this? You have to manually add each card to your deck, which is a bit of a hassle, but uh, it's it's definitely worth it for the, the ease of the tool and the ease of... Oops. Oh, my bad. The ease of uh, importing that we'll have. So it'll, it'll keep adding the uh, the images, and you just keep doing this for however many cards you have. 
And it's worth noting that uh, you should pay attention to, at the bottom right, how many cards your deck has. This will be important later on when we import the actual deck into Tabletop Simulator. It's also important to note that if you want your hero card to have a different back than all your normal cards, you're probably going to want to uh, create a separate quote-unquote deck, and I'll go into that process right now, for your hero card. So you'd go and create a new deck. You would add both, uh, you would add just one card, which would be the front of your uh, hero card, and you would go to export deck. You want, you want to keep the width and height the same, you want to make sure it's high quality, hit the export, uh, put it in the proper folder, wherever that is. It doesn't really matter a whole lot as long as you know where it is. And uh, right now, it's imported an image that is literally just this, that single card back and all this blackness. And that's alright, we don't have a back for the card yet, but we go into putting the card backs on, that's like the last thing we do, so don't worry, we'll get to it. So, I'm not going to finish this deck, uh, simply because that would take forever, and you don't want to watch that. So what we're going to do is do the magic of editing, we're going to fast forward to when I've actually finished building the deck. 2,000 years later. Alright, through the magic of editing, we have all 60 cards, not including our one hero card, in the deck here. So, once you've got all your cards that you want in here, you go back to the file, or you just hit Control e you hit export and as before we leave the width and height alone we keep the scale quality at high we hit export Ex wow export what is wrong with me it's yeah, that's how it's pronounced i think i could just be crazy yeah that's that's a distinct possibility you name it whatever you want uh d basic mage deck you hit save cool it's it's saved we can now throw this away we don't care now you may want to actually save uh, the TB TSDB file, and this will allow you to whoops, oh well, there we go. This will allow you to uh, come back and edit uh, this arrangement of cards, so you don't have to go back in and put each card in individually. So it's a useful thing to do. I'm not going to do it because I'm never going to play this deck. This deck is terrible. I just threw it together to uh, show how this process is done. So we're just going to get rid of all of this. Okay. So now that you have your deck image, we're going to want to go to your uh, file uploading uh, service. Uh, you could use Imager or Photobucket. I actually, strangely enough, I noticed a quality increase using Photobucket, which uh, surprised me. I didn't think Photobucket was uh, that good. But there was a slight uh, quality increase when I used Photobucket. But Imager is a lot easier to use, so we're just going to use Imager for this uh, demonstration. There we go. All right, so you go browse your computer go to uh, your file and I believe I saved it in the wrong place because I'm silly here we go your deck images here so we first want to upload the basic mage deck then we also want to upload the singular hero card okay and then we hit start upload and those will, those will finish now we also need a card back so we already have uh, the card oh you know I almost forgot one step because I'm a terrible person and I'm terrible giving presentations of this sort. But if we want to have the the uh, the hero right there to have its own unique card back, we're also going to, have to upload that as well, which uh, we would have already downloaded under the basic uh, Fire Mage. There, the card back right there. Just forgot to upload it. It's it's going to have to have a URL. Uh, it'll make our lives a lot easier when we get to the actual uh, process of applying the card back. Speaking of card back, just search Google. Find either your favorite Hearthstone card back, which I've selected, or find yourself the actual official Warcraft trading card game card back, or confuse your friends by using the Magic the Gathering card back. I don't care. You could put a picture of a poodle on there for all I care. It'll be the image that's on the back of your cards. Pick whatever you like. You know, make your deck look cool. It's like card sleeves, except more customizable. So we'll 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 save this URL. We're gonna need it for later. So now that we've uploaded all of our images. The entire deck, the one hero card, and uh, I'll have to grab it later as well. The uh, it's right there. Just oh, I forgot to hit upload. I'm stupid, but yeah, and the back of the hero card. Uh, now we actually open up Tabletop Simulator. Woo! We're almost done. So we're in the game. What do we do? We've got to first get a table, then go to chest, then we've got to hit custom select deck 
And this is where we're going to start inputting all the information. The face, that's the deck. Those are all the cards in your deck. And going back to the images we have, if I can just pull up, I believe, my album. There we go. That is this image right here. So we can't use imageGur slash A slash YTBN2. That won't work because that's two images, and even then it just won't work. You're going to have to right-click your image, hit Open Image in a New Window or uh, just or New Tab or uh, Copy Image URL. Either way, it'll get you the image here itself, and that's what you really want. Then you copy the URL above, or you just hit, as before, uh, Copy Image URL. URL. Then you go back to Tabletop Simulator, go to Face, paste in the uh, image that you just had. So now we have all the fronts of the cards. Now you need card backs. That's if you wanted to go back to the uh, the program we used to set up the uh, the deck and input each individual card back for each card. It's a bit tedious. I prefer my method of, of creating a whole separate quote unquote deck which I'll explain a little bit in a minute for your hero card. To me, it's just simpler and easier. If you need an explanation of how to do this process, I can definitely give you that. Now we have the backs of the cards, and that's just the uh, linked, uh, the, the URL link to the card back you want. For me, again, I just use this Hearthstone card back that I uh, really enjoy. All right, you paste that in. And the last thing you have to do here is you have to select the number of cards in your deck, which in this case is 60. Hit Import. It'll start loading everything in. It'll take a minute, and boom! All right, you can sort of notice it doesn't look the the card back I chose doesn't look too great. There's kind of a white line around that. You might have to play around and get an image that looks really nice. I think the image I chose was a little too small, but now I can drag the top card off, flip it over, and there you go, Arc of Flame. Yeah. So uh, just as a comparison. This is the ImageGur uh, card that I just uploaded. You can't really read the flavor text. You can still read the actual uh, rules text, which is important. This is the photo bucket one. Now, it is noticeably more clear. I don't know why that is, but it is noticeably clearer. Uh, but you can use whatever tool you want. Just make sure that it's readable. Now, we still have to get the hero card. We're, we're missing that. And you kind of go through the same process. You go to deck. We go to face, so we got to get that one card right here. Go open image new tab or copy the URL, then get that URL, put it in the face. Then for the back, we just go and get the. Uh, oops, where to go? Nope, that's not what I want. I'm clicking on all the wrong things. Oh goodness! Well, I'll just re-upload it real quick. Just get the back of the card. And there we go. Let me grab that now. If you'd be so kind as to let me grab that. There we go. Get the URL for that. And just slap that on the back there. Hit import. And I made the mistake of... <laughs> this is why you want to be careful. I just made a deck of 120 cards. Uh, only one of these cards actually has a card back. Or a face. This one. Uh but they all have the card back so if you're gonna go with the process I just suggested uh, make sure that you make your deck size one or you'll get a bunch of useless cards like this it's got a black front and you've got the back of your hero so you've made this deck and I'm just gonna start just getting rid of all these stupid cards actually I might be able to undo here there we go and I can go back and then put everything in we're not gonna worry about that right now so you've made a deck like this one, you've got it all set up, but you don't want to go through the process of re-importing it every time you want to play. So what you do is you select the deck, right click, and I like to select mine with the hero out front, but you can pop the hero card on the top if you want. Right click it, and hit save the chest, and then you can name it as a basic fire mage, whatever, we're going to call it the basic fire mage. You save it, then if you go to saved objects in chest, you can select, where did it go? The basic fire mage or any other of the decks that you've saved i actually i think i have a few of the uh, raid decks in here i've got all the starter decks i've got all the tokens so i've got a lot of saved objects in here and that's the basics that's that's how you do it that's how you get it done now you can you know go play a great card game with your friends all three of us that still play this card game have fun